So here's what I want to show you today, glacial acetic acid, or as I like to call it, the most dangerous vinegar. I'm going to try to hit some of the more interesting aspects of acetic acid in today's video. Let's talk about what acetic acid's formula is, why it's called glacial acetic acid, why it's considered a weak acid, and it's probably not what you think. And then finally, I'd like to explain why it is the most dangerous vinegar. Like a lot of chemical nomenclature, the way a chemical formula is presented depends a lot on context. A high school chemistry class like mine usually presents it as HC2H3O2 to show it is composed of a hydrogen cation, also known as a proton, attached to an acetate polyatomic. An organic chemistry class might refer to it as ethanoic acid, presenting it as CH3COOH to highlight that there is a methyl group attached to a carboxyl group. And an industrial chemist might simply refer to it as ETOH or C2H4O2. Speaking of industry, acetic acid is unimaginably important in industries as varied as food, fabrics and synthetics, adhesives, and medicine. Global demand is well above 6 million metric tons a year and climbing. This looks like water, but it's not water. It's 99.5% pure acetic acid. And so it has a different freezing point than water. This freezes at 17 degrees Celsius. And if you're not a Celsius wonk like us, that means about 60 degrees Fahrenheit, which is cooler than room temperature. So it doesn't take much for your acetic acid to freeze. There's been many a rookie chemist confused, me included, when we open up our acid cabinet and see this. In fact, this right here is what gives it the name glacial. And you'll notice in this bottle, this is a solid crystal. And this has been like this for a couple days. It's probably gonna stay that way until the temperature rises. What makes an acid an acid is the fact that it releases protons into the solution. Acetic acid is what's considered a weak acid. It simply means that it doesn't dissociate much, only about 5%. Now that doesn't mean that acetic acid isn't dangerous. The acetic acid you deal with, vinegar, is only about 5%. But this stuff is 99.5% pure. There are some pretty awful consequences if you actually get concentrated acetic acid on your skin. Most of the accidents I've found involved improper dilution of concentrated acetic acid for medical purposes. At percents above 10, it becomes an irritant. At percents above 25, acetic acid becomes corrosive and can cause chemical burns and severe tissue damage. The worst example I found in the literature was a patient whose wounds were irrigated for two days with a concentration of acetic acid that was 400 times too high. It was supposed to be 0.25% and it was unadulterated glacial acetic acid. Now, I don't know exactly what kind of wounds that patient had, but by the time they were done, they needed a bilateral leg amputation. So next time someone says a weak acid isn't dangerous, you tell them that story. So how do we do? We explained what acetic acid's formula was. We talked about why it's called glacial acetic acid, pretty cool. We explain what a weak acid is, and hopefully that's a review. If not, you can check out one of my other videos to dig a little deeper. And finally, there's some pretty gruesome examples of how dangerous concentrated acetic acid can be. So if you got something out of this today, besides a hankering for some salt and vinegar potato chips, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps. Let me know what else you want to see here. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.